Stellaris, let's survive together. We are the Extinction Rebels. Uh, we don't want to die out, and it's so far it's worked. Some other people have already died out, so um, we're at least not the first to die out. And then there's this, that's the big problem, the Ilyif Sida Devourers. Then there's this, that's our overlord, unfortunately. Because of them, we're very, very far back in science and we're trying to catch up. And that's the other threat, the next Heralds of Death. They are purifiers, fanatic purifiers that try to take over everything. So, but they're currently getting attacked also by the Brasherians, by the Helgans, by a whole lot of others. Um, and in in typical comical um, action, the Ovia Guardians have decided now that the Helgen destroy the Heralds of Death, they will attack the Helgen <laughs> and their whole um, coalition that are trying to take out the Galactic Threat. So the Ovia Guardians here... are basically contributing to um, the galactic demise. <laughs> and then we've got this war. Yeah, they are currently, they are constantly fighting wars against everything and they're winning everything, which is the problem. So they are the problem. And we're trying to avoid the problem and develop so we can one day maybe beat the problem instead of be the problem. We're currently ruled by the spiritualists, by the scholars of Gaia. And our new leader that has just been elected is Friendly Shandale II. Um, he's a supporter of the Scholars of Gaia. Yes, um, he was current. He was he was in the Galactic Corporation Council, but then he saw a, ch a, a career chance to become the leader of the Scholars of Gaia. And these are. A little bit at least friendly with each other and so he took over there now leading our nation becoming ever more spiritualist what have we done we have yeah we have given the people social welfare if they die from the hands of a devouring swarm they should have at least social welfare before that uh, we should and would and could now yeah, we should open up another city district, and then we'll see what we'll do here on Earth. There's a lot of things to do, like planetary prospecting, for example. That is also something we could stuff uh we could invest stuff in and we should we should basically do that it's it's a really good idea to do that so we're currently now we're making what we're making every start we are setting we're setting the pace here uh, possibly so we want research here mining and research uh, but mining is important and for that mineral purification plants are important and yeah 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 more mining more research. Research is also extremely important. We'll go for the Research Institute because of that. Alpha Centauri uh, has a lot of open jobs. We can give it that upgrade here. Here, yeah, we, we also want to increase our naval capacity, which is why we're building strongholds where we can. Some strongholds, some other strongholds, more strongholds. Serious prime food. Yeah, let's let's get into more food there. Because we really need food and we can specialize into that. So let's go for more food. It's easy. Vum Prime. Mm, yeah, it's doing it's doing well here. Uh, we don't need to build anything. I mean we could build one district here, but we don't need to. Uh, it would be good to have one just for a little bit more room and we have eight free jobs here everything is good here uh, five housing only yeah we could increase that 
of a printer has only two amenities. Yeah, we must kind of correct that with Holo Theatres for now. And then we have Uldor Prime. The same problem here, low amenities. Uh, and yeah, we should also build crystal mines, gas extraction wells and things, but... Hmm. I mean, this also gives us amenities, right? Temples. But it's ineffective, and we have dedicated this to something else, so... Holo theaters it is, and then it will be gas extraction wells. And probably districts. Galamun, yeah, we're expanding here. Getting the fortresses up. Edasic Prime should be a consumer planet. Um, but we also need three temples, so we're also going to make it about unity. Here we go. We'll just build. We'll just build three temples, just like that. Scroll Prime is doing good. Storil Secundus. Mm. Yeah, we could get into that a little bit more. But into what? It's still good to build something like that here. The Mosi Prime is doing fine. Bokrimar Prime is doing also relatively fine. Mm. Uh, what we kind of forgot is we wanted to look for some prospects. So let's do that too. Everywhere where we're doing nothing, nothing building nothing, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Result might be not what we expect, um, but it will hopefully be a good result. We can afford it, so we'll we'll just do it. Uh, what do we want here? One of this, one of this, and maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, it's an industrial world. We want to get the civilian industries and the alloy foundries going. Good, on Sigawa Prime. All two of these. To race Prime, uh, yeah. Go further with this. And it should have research because it has just very good things for research on it. The research bonus and Nimiroth. Mm. Can do all of that. Let's also see. There's a lot to get from here. Right, um, I'll just check the decisions tab again. So that's still working well. Good. Bokrima. Mm. Yeah, we've done that already on Bokrima Prime, Nemosi Prime. Storil. We're doing good. We're doing good. Get a sick. Yeah, we are hiring people basically for luxuries, but we can afford it, so it's okay. Kalamun also needs it. Yeah, it definitely needs it. Uldor. Prinder. Yeah, we can we can have that everywhere basically. Not here, because we already ordered it. And on Vum Prime also order it. Yeah, we need to invest all that money that we make into something good, and that is something good, so we'll invest into it. Earth. 
gets also luxury goods because we're swimming in luxury goods currently. And it's all fine. It's all fine. So, now you know all about our economy. Now we're going to the stations. Ah, ha, ha. before we get into the action. Uh, there's one very important station that we have to watch. It's here in Sirius because we have a wormhole here that leads to the devourers. <laughs> yeah, it leads to the devourers now. We have to do what we can here and we are already doing that. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Oh no, the Nihal station. Uh -huh. But we have some defenses here. I hope that will be enough. What are you doing? Get in here. Will they be successful? I mean, they're doing relatively well, not gonna lie. Come on, you can do it. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody hit the room. Bring down another ship. It seems like we can do it. It seems it's good. It's all good. Yay. We did it. Defeated the pirate fleet. We didn't even lose a defense platform. Nice. Thank you, defense platforms. I'll upgrade you. And we can go back here. Yeah, yeah, Our ships yeah. have been improved. Ships have been improved, yes. Of course they have. Mm, yeah. Ships have been improved. Serious. Oh, so serious. What do we need here? We need full defense here. This means we'll first go for two hangar bays. And yeah, listening post would kind of be great. Mm, the transit hub would also be great, but this needs to be defense more than anything else. So, uh, comms jammer and upgrade. Defense, defense. Planet prospected. Ah, Nimiroth Prime has new mineral fields, new ore rich caverns, mineral fields, fair tundra, frozen gas lake. What the heck? Planets have changed. Let's see about that. Did we find there new nutritious mudlands? Interesting. Did we find here the frozen gas lake? Frozen gas lake is gives us energy districts. Nice. Really nice. Fair Tundra? What the heck? What's Fair Tundra? Ah, it gives us one agricultural district. Well, it's better than nothing. Uh, mineral fields. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's okay. All rich caverns? Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. And other mineral fields here as well. Sweet. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. And also more code breaking. Nice. Um, what should we go for next? And plasma accelerators are very cheap currently. Here, the fleet command limit's gonna. That's also kind of useful. And we're going for um, that next. Dangerous wildlife removal, if we need to, if we need to. Mm, we can, I think, now combine our fleets here. Aegis Aquarius in the first fleet will be combined. And now we have a reserve general. Oh, well. Let's upgrade the ships of Aegis Aquarius for glory. Uh, for the Ilyvsta Devourers. I hope not, but they're now at our borders. Not yet, but yeah, I mean, they are at our borders because they're in Sirius. I mean, seriously. 
And if they come in there, we cannot stop them. Like, not at all. Not in the slightest. Automated Dreadnought here. Hmm. There's just no way they can do anything here. Hey, we've got new mineral fields here. Not that we need that, but hey. <laughs> we got it. And let's see what we'll go for next. We need to catch up. I mean, should we go for diplomacy, really? Not right now. Subterfuge. Hmm... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We might have to go for something like unyielding, but for now to catch up we need to go for prosperity. Here we go. What we'll get at the adopting. Uh, 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 uh. Mining station output plus 20%. It will do something. And we can also now um, increase the naval, uh, the, the fleets, I mean. That's very important. Oh, Star Force. If you just had bonded with us, but you didn't want to. Calamon Defender Mining Industry was successfully prospected, revealing a new bubbling swamp. A bubbling swamp? What the heck? A bubbling swamp? For real? That could give us gas extraction wells. Wow. One gas extraction well, at least. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just better, eh? It's just better. The gas extraction wells. Aegis Aquarius is a bit stronger. Bubbling Swamp, all rained cliffs, nice, but not super changing. The Burks are more materialist. Yeah, the only real opponent of the Ilipsida Devourers are the Burks Click. We have a new Prosperous Misa. I think the Prosperous Misa doesn't give it... Um, Oh, it gives mining districts. Okay. No, no, no. We want to build one. Here we go. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Dangerous wildlife removal. Yes, yes. And now... Oh, yeah. Galactic administration. That will help us. Gives us one more civic. What's not to love? Now, devourers are devouring the Star Force. Like, completely. What have we found out? The beacon in the depth. Only through archaeological proof and imagination can one depict a once flourishing civilization on the now desolate surface of Spjut. So unkind has the passage of time been that even the sturdiest buildings have been grinded down to little more than dust. But from deep underground, a strange signal is pulsing. A mysterious beacon yearning for investigation and uncovering. Keep digging! Earth has new mineral fields. Cool. But unnecessary. Uh, what do we need on Earth? What do we need? Oh, we didn't, don't have a monument yet. Arid highlands. Cool, cool. What do the arid highlands even do? Generator districts. Not bad. Not bad. We could replace something here now that we have so many temples. Um, energy and what? Unity, I guess. So we could have a temple. Something else? No, not really. Ah, let's have another temple here instead. New rugged woods? Okay. 
<laughs> That's kind of nice. We don't need to change anything here. And Boggy Fens. Uh, what are they doing? It gives agricultural districts. Cool. Trouble at home. A large number of people from the Archduchy of Tatarvania started visiting our worlds after we became a subject of theirs, expressing an interest in our culture and people. At first we figured it would be a good thing for all of us, but we see a rise in conflicts between locals and Archduchy of Tatarvania visitors as of late. They seem to harbor some misconceptions about our empire, and they tend to use Archduchy of Tatarvania culture and ideals to justify their boorishness. Uh, Local conflicts? No. Restrict civilian travel. We have more than enough influence. More than enough. And it's time to maybe increase Aegis Aquarius, but we're we're still upgrading, right? Alien entity identified. A tubular alien entity has come here. And we will study it. Situation log updated. An enigmatic guest. Go. Whatever that is now. Need to go to Misa. Misa already has that. Procyon has it. Nice. Okay, do we have it in Withril? Yes. Rayema? No. Surprisingly not. Yeah, now with Shandale we can build um, defense platforms much cheaper. Much mm -hmm. cheaper. And we should do that at Sirius as well, once we can. Once we can. Jason Coffee. Oh, Shandale! My goodness, I forgot. Shandale was the one traveling around. Now we have no one on the James Cook. <laughs> but we need someone. Okay, who's there for us? Gisela von Falkenstein. Survey speed increase, yeah. I mean, we would like someone with research speed increase. Maybe military? Wamadalawi. Uh, survey speed, research speed. Psionics. Yves Morin is way better. Yves Morin. Give us something. Uh, you're here, okay. The elusive tar black. The wily Udlerin. The mighty Tasargoid. And the malleable Golantha. And another science ship, I guess. Hmm. Mm. Maybe at another station. And something's happened. We're running out of time. A sudden and undeniable sense of mortality has mysteriously crept upon the excavation team as they get closer to the beacon in the depths. As more dirt and rock is removed, an unescapable notion lingers in the back of everyone's mind. Life is fleeting. Someday all this is going to end. Keep digging, Jason. Jason Edwards. We have hopes. The Vagrellium Trium has... Oh, the caravan is down. Whoever did that? <laughs> Open borders. It seems our overlord has heard about the situation, has sent a small contingent of bureaucrats and soldiers to clarify that their, stand, their stance on this. In no uncertain terms, they made it clear that we will either open the borders to their civilians peacefully, or they will forcefully keep the borders open between us. It's not important enough to fight for. 
We found a tropical island. Ooh, a tropical island. What does that give us? Three agricultural districts. Hmm. <laughs> In theory. No, I think we can now replace that. Isn't that great? And then we can build a, another hydroponics farm and be happy. Look at that. With only this planet, with Sirius Prime, we've we've made it to positive food now. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh gods, the Star Force. <laughs> Getting devoured. It's all cool, refugees. Yeah, hello. So very, very brightly, the source of the signal is an alien tombstone inscribed with strange signals, symbols. The translation is sketchy at best. It speaks of a person of great importance, of a life's work worthy of remembrance and veneration, and of a civilization in mourning. Towards the end of the, the translation becomes very odd, speaking of grief-induced leakage of bodily fluids and their subsequent dissipation due to weather conditions. Only the very last part was successfully translated. Time to die. A life worthwhile modifier added, giving us 5% happiness for everyone. Oh, that's so good. Mr. Edwards, not yet time to die for you. You will return to Nimeroth. Uh, yeah, on Nimeroth Prime there's something else. We'll assist research, though. Uh, someone else is doing all the exploration. So many consumer goods. We're now in the post scarcity world. But we have not yet Special project succeeded. Complete. The enigmatic cache. Despite expensive research, it's the cache and its origin are still shrouded in mystery. It's not organic in nature, not entirely machine. Its surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents, in which we discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. Nice. And physics, physics technologies. Oh, what happened to physics? Apparently we researched something. Uh, we could go space-time theory. That would be um, very good for us. It's definitely something that we should do. Here we go. And we're getting more Irzuku. Irzuku. And I, I fear we are next. Tarblack secured. Nice. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint sonic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics, has brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank. The crew members on the XR James Cook that came into direct contact with the Tarblack will require extensive therapy. The mission has been a success. Nice. Oh well. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Have we found new mineral fields? That's good. Uh, bountiful plains. Yeah, I think that's more for more agriculture. And we found a fungal forest. Oh, that's interesting. What does the fungal forest bring us? Oh, a lot, a lot of agriculture. That's nice. And advanced mineral purification labs and low gravity mega refiners. Oh, on the orbital ring. Yeah, if we ever get so far. For now, we'll go for space torpedoes. Thank you. So we've reformed this let's see if we can if we have other weaponry yes indeed the plasma accelerators are far better than these things and basic covert has been upgraded to the plasma accelerators yeah the shield damage is low but otherwise they are superior well at least i believe that let's see Yeah, we could make a coil gun work here, right? Let's see. Uh, we could combine that, basically. Two of these and an energy siphon. That makes a lot of sense. Auto cannon is also good. Yeah, that's even better, maybe. Four. 
Mm, three, that's six damage. That's mm, that's about the same damage, interestingly. Okay, we'll, we'll combine it like that. The Interceptor, now we'll upgrade the basic destroyer. I think we can go into, into smaller weapons with a destroyer, as a destroyer should also be quick. So we'll completely overthrow what we've done with a destroyer. Mm, yeah. Close range. And we want some plasma accelerators here that are good against armor. And we will have also auto cannons. I'll combine it like that. That's the new basic destroyer. Here we go. The base defense platform. Yeah. I think we'll change all of that. Amoeba are doing 40 damage. Defense platforms are gonna change. And everyone's gonna change a lot. <laughs> we'll only, up, only so far upgrade the fleets. But these we will upgrade extensively. Aegis Aquarius first. Yeah, the second. We'll be fine. We have so many exotic gases. We will hopefully start to use them soon. What is about two rays? There's something here. Uh, yeah, use these exotic gases. Incoming transmission, the Chell Raiders. Aha, uh -huh, okay, we can hire the Chell Raiders and some abnormal readings. Where? Possibly indicating the presence of life. Situation ah, here. updated. To Ephilion. Wow, that's so far away. We go here and then back. Celo Ramirez, we also get more from the Devourers. More people, but that's probably not enough. If the Tatavanians are not going for some kind of war against them, then we have no chance. Are they in some kind of war? No. They are... I don't know what they are doing. Really, but we are... We are increasing our science output constantly, and so they should profit massively from that. Star Force is bonding with them. Hmm. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Galactic administration. Finally. Finally. And yeah, we were always out for more habitability. That's one of the spiritualists. Unspent civic points. And we should now reform our government and let's just see what we can do. We are environmentalists. So for the ranger jobs and beacon of liberty. That's still good. And we can add something here. Maybe we could become a death cult. <laughs> uh, or we will remember the times past. Building a sanctuary of repose. The problem with this is that that will probably replace our temples and that could go wrong. So maybe we could just go for a parliamentary system. Mm, Shadow Council Warrior Culture. 
Mm -hmm. That would increase our naval capacity a lot. And our army damage. Hmm. It's worth thinking about. Distinguished Admirality. Hmm. Not that great. Citizen service. Unity from soldiers increased. Recruitment office building. Naval capacity increased. I think we'll introduce citizen service. In times of this crisis... Yeah, on the other hand, yeah, the death cult, ah, that, that leads to a lot of problems. I mean, that would be role-playing very good, but I, I fear that the game will just break down if we go for a death cult. Um, and I don't want that. <laughs> the same it is for memorialists, so we'll go citizen service. And that's, that's also fitting, right? We want to protect ourselves. And the soldiers gain some spirituality. We gain unity from soldiers. And we gain recruitment office holding. Here we go. And there we are at the right naval capacity. <laughs> we just need a little bit more alloys. Like always. Wow, are more people declaring the Ilyifsida their rivals? That might be good for us. That might be really good for us. Because we have not declared them our rivals. Yeah, we cannot even be their rivals because we're so underwhelming. For the, the mining drone expansion the initiative is still alive. Space torpedoes! And that's good. Now let's see what's next. Oh, exotic gas refineries. What? Oh, we don't need it, but it would make sense. Same goes with the rail guns. Uh, we, we need railguns rather than the other things. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're upgrading here. Should also upgrade here. Because we can't do it. We have new green hills here. The green hills give two uh, uh, one agricultural district. Okay. New green hills. Oh, look at that. We need more amenities here. Amenities, amenities. Um, do we have that recruitment thing? Available? No. No? Okay. Maybe next month? We'll see. Uh, anyways, we need amenities. And then, then we'll build Holo Theatres. It's okay. Human refugees from the Star Force. Mm. Yeah, you're all welcome. Oh my goodness me. They're just eating everything up. Special project complete. Ah, we have secured some Udlorans. Nice. <laughs> the good Udlorans. Yeah, they're a little bit secondary now. In face of this carnage. Mm. Pass the resolution. Form Galactic Council. Ah, Tartavania is in there. That would be good. That would truly be good. Yeah, you must hurry up a bit for some, Special some measures. A uh, physics cache, nice. I found four thousand here. Mm. Association status by the Stellar Mutual Assistance Pact. Oh, that's good. Are you going into an alliance? Uh, where's that? Mutual assistance pack. That's probably the the oh offensive pack with the Helgans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see how that will work out. All right, now everyone is bonding. I think they will the probably attack us. But us they could also attack someone else, like here the Blurks. Railguns for the win. 
Uh, what else? Oh, mining station output. That's just a no-brainer to take that if you want to catch up. These resource improving things is just... We just need it. There's 5,000 here, 5,000 there. We need to improve our fleets. And we're doing that. We're doing that. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. The end of the Tegel Raiders. Uh-huh. Our ships have been improved. Good. Ships have been improved. Everyone is so far ready. What should we do? We should improve our... Um, should fill up our fleets here more. Let's build some. Also here. Nice, the Archduchy is there. Uh, not that we have any say in it, but we are happy that at least our overlord may protect us there. Aegis Centauri. go mm. filling up the fleets left and right we have so many consumer goods we should really have a look if we can it's a different living standards already no cannot go yet we will be able in 2305 Our ships have been improved. Nice and sweet. Sirius Station should also improve their defenses here. The spirits have granted us. Fleet is prevalence though. As we have sworn to get up to 130 naval capacity. And we want to fulfill that. Oh, there's the Holo Temple. Yeah, getting the Holo Temples going will be a great improvement for our spiritual life. Our ships have been improved. Starbase fleet is there. And uh, now. Building a district upkeep reduced or build cost reduced, build speed increased. Yeah, let's let's go for the upkeep reduction. That should help us out greatly. Get some fleets built. Have been improved. Nice. Yeah, we're gaining stuff left and right. And the Shroud is contacting us. Nice. Horror has a face. Our face? An endless desert stretches before us. We've been here before. Shalakul Milnem Zunak. Something emerges from the sand. It's difficult to see. Sarabi Melasuk. The words are like thunder, spoken by a mouth for which they were never intended. We are compelled to answer. Uh, that sounds like a name. Kunak de Kirak. That sounds like an answer. Question mark. Up. Sarabi Melasuk. Tiritnali Dazumara. Our telepaths have been overwhelmed by the intense strain they were put under during our communion with the Shroud. We can no longer maintain the link. Okay, that was wrong. Apparently that was wrong. Wrong answer. We get Special punished. Project complete. Tasago it secured. Very nice. The extremely lethal predator. Maybe we'll learn something then. About that guy. About that predator against other lethal predators. We're really overflowing at the moment. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, look at that now. Earth. Trappist. Mining and research. Yeah, here we go. We can make it more effective. Holo Temple will be great. 
some more fortresses up. What about them here? Yeah, four, five, seven, three, three. And three is a little bit low. Uh, we want to have more alloys, alloy foundries. Over printers, fine, fine, fine. Because with Uldor, Uldor was also fine. Skull. Here we go. Storil Prime. Namozi. Mm. So far considered a factory world. I'm really not sure. We've got a nature preserve. It's got spore winds. Mm. What should we get in here? Uh, we can just go for research, right? Get the prime research going. Krimar, it's just a refinery world. Very refined. Cyclops not in the reach. Uh, let's just get us something here. That's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. All right, fine, fine. Pumping it in. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We might yet free the great wound. And we've got a whole temple. Seeing is believing, and belief begets reality. In the freaking holo temple. Mm. What will we go for? Reverse engineer minor artifacts? Mm, no. What's cheap? Caramel metal infrastructure. Will help us out, probably. Incoming transmission from the Senac. Custodian Protocol 6251 activated message follows attention. Organic civilization. Widespread biological vulnerabilities have been detected in the rebel human population. In order to ensure your species viability for the Custodian Project, all major population centers will require inoculation. Bioinjection units are prepared for dispatchal to your space upon con positive confirmation to this message. Awaiting response. We have to take every risk we can against this. Very well, if it's uh, for our own good. Maybe unpredictable, but we'll take it. We have to try anything and everything. This will also be, uh, yeah, it will be something. Let's let's find out. Reinforcing. I mean, together we could maybe make it here. We'll see about that. Fabrizio, nice. Mm, abnormal sensor readings here. Situation log updated. So we want to have stations here and news. Okay. Here we go. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Do we have something here? Yes, we have. We cannot upgrade. Interesting. Mining station output with the nanite mineral probes. And now... What does the cheapness tell us? Alloy nano plants? Yeah, that will be good. Will surely be good. Let's see... What we can get going. I mean, we're definitely thriving. We've reached 130 that we wanted to reach. We have reached the uh, naval capacity we wanted to reach. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Whoa, we have so many people coming. 
at least they're coming to us right um, now something cheap encryption is cheap here we go Rubricate is not yet within our reach, but uh, have granted us new wisdom. we're growing a little bit stronger now. Chemical Bliss. Mm. Yeah, we might need the Chemical Bliss when they come for us. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's just, I think we're better off researching broadly mm, the stellar association pact is is forming look the next heralds of death are kind of losing against the helgans i think or at least the helgans are holding so far special project complete. engineering cash nice i should retrieve some information of the former years Storal prime Plonk. Let's get that up going. Our unity is without end. And we can build some holo temples here. The first three holo temples are being built. Nice. All the gods were ancient Ordon caretakers, the scavenger bot. What have they discovered here? Why have they such a hole in here? Oh, look, the Tartarvanians have also grown better. They're the Azure Storm Lords. What the heck? The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Leo's leading us, and now... Yeah, we will not terraform, but we need to learn about terraforming. Maybe we can also terraform a baron or tomb world into something else. Then it would be good. Mm, resource storage 4 for influence, yes. Of course, I mean, we could maybe, I don't know what we could do. I mean, we cannot really do something because, yeah, we, had, we don't have an own vote, so we cannot really spend our influence here. Let's see about the decisions. We can also not spend influence here, so, yeah, Special whatever. But we have a Gulantha herd now, one of the last Gulantha these flat grazing animals really cool and and what do you tell me it's definitely time it's time to have a look the theocracy of zama is still existing the devourers are still pounding on the star force we will see if we can survive we have Mm, improved our economic situation and our fleet a lot and we're continuing to do so plonk here we go so we have definitely gained some some track ah oh, that's that's the other world yeah What are the next steps for us? I really don't know what the next steps will be for us. Um, it all depends on our overlord, but we are kind of catching up a bit in in technology level, I feel. Um, we don't really know much about our overlord, but we know a lot about the devourers. Maybe we can use this to our advantage. They only have 601 people and we have 522. Maybe we can do something there. They are rivaling no one, but they are rivaled by the Blurks, the Star Force and the Theocracy of Zama. So they might go for the Blurks next, which could give us enough time to really develop. And so this 
period of a little bit more peaceful development might have been a really good period, even though the Star Force is going down and we don't know what will come after that. I will come back to you with a vote and uh, we'll see each other in the next episode with just a short summary what each faction wants, what you have told me to uh, integrate into the factions and yeah let's let's create a survivable future together as long as our overlord lives and not integrates us we can survive but who knows what will happen who knows what will happen have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is Immanuel Kahn signing out see you soon and have a great time until then happy gaming